everybody. My name is Bev McCullough and I am super excited to be here with you today at Riley Blake Designs Virtual Market to share with you my afternoon tea collection that is coming out in October of this year. And I am a huge tea fanatic and I can't wait to share this collection with you and explain all about my inspiration, which if you get that I said I'm a huge tea collection, a tea fanatic, that's my inspiration. But I'm gonna share a little bit more about that and, um, and to then show you all the projects in the collection and we're gonna just have a great time and it's gonna be so much fun. So hi everybody, I'm super, super excited today to be with you. Um, Afternoon Tea is coming out in um, October of this year and you can see behind me, it's a new collection that is inspired by how much I love tea. Um, I pretty much live on it all day long, but even if you're not a big tea fanatic, there's lots in this collection for you. Um, I have some fun florals. I have um, all kinds of different prints that we're gonna go over in a little bit and a lot of projects for this collection as well. So. I, um, I can't drink caffeine anymore and um, that happened a couple years ago and I was always a tea drinker but once I couldn't have my coffee to start my day with, I really became like a huge, like that's what I live on kind of thing, tea fanatic. And so I wanted to design a collection that was a little bit different for me as far as um, a little bit darker colors and some different elements in it to show off all the fun tea things. So, oh yeah, I'm so glad you guys are here. Hi, Dorothy says it matches her home. That's awesome, Dorothy. I'm live um, in the Facebook group, if um, you couldn't tell that, and um, I'm also live over on YouTube. So, and uh, Dolores says she's drinking hot tea and she drinks it year round. Me too, Dolores. I'm not a big iced person. I don't like ice in my drinks at all. So um, I'm all about hot tea all the time. So let's talk a little bit about this collection. There are 24 prints in the collection and I'm gonna show you those. And there are also, I designed three quilts for the connect collection. And in addition to that, I have a really fun panel that I designed for the collection. So you can kind of see the panel here. There are several projects on the panel but I think we should look at the fabrics first. So let me flip cameras here and I'm gonna show you these fun prints. Okay, everybody, are you excited? <laughs> I have my little setup here. So I'm gonna scooch some things around so that you can see the prints in the collection. So I really wanted a big floral. I usually like to design a big floral for the main of my collection. And so that's the case for this one as well. And the collection has this kind of fun darker blue with pops in the flowers of a really, really dark navy and then kind of a peach color we're going for here. So we have blues and peaches and then more of this olive green. It's called Lodgepole. It's um, in the confetti cottons, which are Riley Blake's colors, but um, it has a really fun olive vibe here. So the main comes in this great blue color it comes in a sand color, which is kind of a, um, a darker off-white. And it also comes in a pale peach color. So you can kind of see how those colors blend together. One of my other favorite prints in the collection is the tea label prints. And I'm gonna hold this up here so you can see a little bit better what we have going on here. We have a lot of vintage or even new tea labels and they go all different directions so you can cut it out and use it anywhere you'd like in your quilt without worrying about direction on that. Um, but it has all fun um, different teas. So there's herbal teas, Earl Grey, green teas, oolong, um, all the teas. And so I have a whole bunch of labels here for this print. And this one comes in this really pretty blue color with like a tonal lighter blue. It also comes in a green. Isn't that a fun green? I love it. And then it comes in a darker peach, kind of almost like a lipstick color. So it's a really soft, subtle print, but once you look at it, the details come out. Then, because we all love stitching, <laughs> and it's really good to sit down with your stitching and some uh, cup of tea, I have a cross stitch print in this collection. So I'm gonna hold this up here a little bit for you. So you can see all the details in that. 
and it's got all those cute little cross stitch flowers that are um, roses and little um, like daisy like flowers and that comes in that green it comes in that sand background which is a fun it's a little bit darker than a cream and it'll still stand out against a white background which is nice and then it comes in that soft peach then I have a cute little sketch print so these are I'll hold these up again so you can see all sorts of little tea or flowers and plants elements there's some stacked teacups and teapots, some little hand-drawn flowers. There's a tea bag. One of my favorites is this little guy right here. He's just snuck in there. I had to do a kit tea. <laughs> I know the pun is horrible, right? But he's a cute little kitty in a teacup. <laughs> so this comes in that really gorgeous blue. It comes in that darker green color. And then it comes in kind of a medium peach color. And we can't have tea without having tea leaves, right? You don't have to read them, you can sew with them. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. But I have this cute print and it's got some tiny, tiny little flowers on it and then scattered different colored tea leaves around. And that comes in that cream color, a really pretty green. And this would even work for backgrounds on your quilts, especially in that green one. I mean the green or the cream. And then it comes in that peach color. This is a fun little blender print and I call it floral spoons. I'm gonna to have to hold it up so you guys can see again. But there's little tiny flowers and connecting each flower is a tiny spoon because we have to have our cute little teaspoons, right? <laughs> and Karen said that my nails match my collection. Always, always match your nails to your fabric, Karen. <laughs> So this comes in that really pretty green, and again, this is another tonal print that will look great in your blocks. It comes in that kind of lipstick, darker peach color, and then a lighter green with the dark blue print on it. And I had to mix in a tiny floral. This floral has real tiny little flowers and then bows scattered all around. So you can see how cute that looks and it's a nice small print so it will show up well even in the smallest blocks so this is also in a really nice like dark red with peach flowers on it to kind of ground out the collection and give it some depth and then it also comes in that light sand color with the green bows on it isn't that fun Dorothy says cats and flowers are pretty much necessities in life Amen, Dorothy. <laughs> and then I have to also finish out the collection with a gingham. I do love a good gingham. And this gingham has some stitching throughout each piece of like each cross. So it adds a little bit of interest. And you could even go crazy if you want and add in some stitching yourselves. But this comes in that pretty peach color. It comes in a navy. And then it also comes in that green color. It's a really soft green. So this is gonna look great in your blocks, but it'll also be perfect for borders, binding, anything like that. So it's really fun. So along with all the prints in that collection is a panel. And I've designed a panel before. Here's my storyboard for afternoon tea. I've designed a panel before. Oh, and here you can see the a bigger image of the floral and then also how that floral looks over the repeat. So you can see how pretty it would be even for apparel if you wanted to make a cute skirt or a dress or anything like that. But what I'm excited about, and I keep getting distracted by fabric, is the panel for this quilt, for this collection. So the panel has all kinds of projects on it, and I'm going to walk you through them on the panel, but then I'm going to also show you in person. Um, and all the instructions are on the panel. So you can buy the panel. It'll tell you if you need anything additional like batting or anything like that. And then you can just dive in and start sewing and make an entire project. Well, multiple projects. So I have a tea cozy here and it comes with the front and then a lining. I have a couple cute little applique cups. There's a mug rug. There's a set of four coasters. So the front and the back. And for the mug rug, I've even included the binding for you so that you can make the entire mug rug project. 
And then I also have down here a little tea wallet. And this is really cute and I'll show you it to a person if you haven't ever seen a tea wallet in person. So let's look at some of those projects. Let's start with the mug rug. Okay, here we go. It's time for tea, y'all. <laughs> so the mug rug is a really cute size. It is all pre-printed for you and I just quilted it up. I did kind of a meander on this side and then I outlined the pink and then I did a crosshatch quilting on this side and this is the binding that comes with it. You can certainly choose to use a different binding um, if you would like to and it's even printed on the back with that T label print so you can see how cute it looks front and back. You could definitely get creative with this. You could cut this out and use it as an applique. You could stitch out the design if you would like to. I just did quilting around the teacup and it gave it like a little bit of extra depth and it is uh, just really fun as is and would make such a great gift. So this is the mug rug. I also have kind of the star of the project or the panel, I'm gonna move our teacup out of the way so that we don't spill tea, is the tea cozy. So this tea cozy is really cute. It comes with the lining on the panel so you can see that you can make the entire thing. You'll just need batting. And then you can trim it out and get creative with it any way you like. I did quilt mine except for the center and I added a little bit, you can't see it very well, a little bit of extra detail to mine by adding French knots all across the top of my teacup and in my flowers. And then I stitched out this flower and a cute little bow on top of the teapot. And then I also added some trim here to the bottom, which is really easy to do, just a little bit of pom-pom trim. And also it has a cute little um, loop at the top, so it's easy to remove and it's a great size. It fits almost any teapot. I have a fairly good sized teapot here um, that is a fun like vintage pot that I have with these cute green flowers. And it fits over the top really easily and there's even some space just folding that down so you can see how big it is. It's not too big, but it definitely has space if you wanted to put it on a coffee pot or something like that. Ooh, and then you can move it around and it'll be noisy. <laughs> I also have in the on the panel is the coaster set and they come with a front and a back that matches. So they're really easy to do. So the teacup print matches the print on the back. And for these, I just quilted around, I just put them on some fusible fleece and then quilted around the elements. So let's see if you can see from the angle how I kind of outlined the little tea bag and then I outlined the saucer. And then I also did stitching around each element with just a little running stitch. That's printed on, but it's also easy to follow with embroidery floss. And these are the cute little coasters in the collection. So really fun. And then if you're not um, aware of what a tea wallet is, this is a tea wallet. It says time for tea on it and has a cute design which you could also stitch out and embroider. And when you open it up, you can carry it in your bag. And when you open it up, it is a little wallet for tea. So you can put your tea bags in here and it would definitely hold more than four. I have one in each pocket but you could see that it easily will hold at least two per pocket and still close easily. So you won't want to put loose leaf tea or anything like that in it. But if it comes in the, if your tea comes in individual project, in individual bags, then it will easily fit. And you can finish it out a couple different ways. I did just a little elastic loop and I put a vintage button on the back. Oops, let that focus there. <laughs> I got excited. Okay, it's not focusing. It's not happy with me. There we go. <laughs> so I put a vintage button on the back and then you can just loop the elastic around the button or you can use a, a, a ribbons, two ribbons on either side and you could do it that way and tie it closed with a ribbon. So that's the tea wallet. And then the last two projects and they're not even really projects but there's two little appliques of teacups. 
so you can do anything you like with these. I put them on, I bought a tea towel set from Amazon and it came with four different tea towels and I picked out my two favorites and I just applique on the teacups with a little zigzag stitch on each around all the elements there. And then I used some blossom. It's so cute, you guys. I used some blossom and I put a little ruffle on the bottom to kind of tie them together. And then um, I put them on two tea towels. <laughs> so, um, so lots and lots of options for this. You could put them on a bag. You could make a project bag with them and applique a little tea uh, teacup on there. You could put them on a denim jacket, like if you put it on the front you know, of your denim jacket. How cute would that look? And then you could even do like a quilt block on the back of your denim jacket and you'd be totally styling. <laughs> <laughs> and um, or you know they would be great for gifts as well so lots and lots of options in the panel so those are all the panel projects and now I'd like to show you the quilts and I'm going to show you in here and then we'll look at the real quilt in person when I switch cameras again so there are three quilts that I designed for afternoon tea and the main quilt I don't know I always have a main and then secondary quilts but I love them all so I don't know the first quilt I should say instead of main is called tea party and this quilt is so fun y'all it's a mix of teapots and teacups all stacked up cute and it is also going to be available in a kit so that makes it really easy to um, just pick up especially if you're a shop you're gonna be able to pick up the kit for this and it includes the top, the um, everything to make the top, including the border and the binding. So you'll just need to get backing for it. I'm also going to do a sew along. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit so you can see some of these elements. I'm, I'm going to do a sew along with this uh, quilt and that is going to kick off in January of um, 2024. So we're gonna wait and get all through the holidays even though this quilt this collection comes out in October. I thought it would be more fun to let you guys do all your Christmas sewing and then we'll start this project together in January. And it's going to be a blast, you guys. It's going to be so fun. So that is Tea Party. And then I also have two other quilts that I designed. This one is called Orange Pico and it is basic, a variation on an orange peel quilt. And it's really fun to sew, you guys. I'm going to do a sew along with this one as well later, just to walk you through how easy it is to do. I promise you're gonna love it. And I have a fun new template coming out with this collection. So if you have done any of my patterns before, you know that I have some half hexagon and triangle template set. This is a large orange peel template and it's perfect for use on 10 inch stackers and it's pink just like my other template and it's available from Riley Blake Designs and it will be available I think in October as well. All of this is going to be available in October. So it's really fun and you use the template to make the pattern. The, pa the pattern will have a paper, paper version of the template in it but it will be a whole lot easier to stitch up using the template. And I should have said this is 10 inch stacker friendly. The tea party is um, is fat quarter friendly. It uses up a fat quarter just so that you have a lot of variance in the teacups. You can get away with a little bit less, but the kit does have the fat quarter bundle in it. So you'll have uh, some leftover to do other projects with. But you want your teacups and teapots to look all different, right? <laughs> and then the last quilt that I designed is called Tea Cakes. And it is really fun. It's just a super scrappy quilt that's gonna look really bright in these fabrics. It is designed for a roly-poly and a little bit of extra yardage to kind of do the border and some details around the blocks. But it's super pre-cut friendly, very easy. I'm gonna have all kinds of tips on how to speed up the piecing of this so it doesn't take forever. And it's just gonna be a fun, easy quilt to sew up. So that is called Tea Cakes, also available in October. And that is afternoon tea. So let me show you again this quilt in person. Okay, so here's the afternoon tea quilt. You can see it all made up here. Um, the, this is the one that came for 
um, market and so I didn't have the outer border on it. There is a background border that goes outside the print border here and this version does not have that. So <laughs> I'm just giving you options here. You can make it as shown in the pattern or you can just go rogue like I did for market and not include that outer background border. So that is the um, cute tea party quilt that we are going to do a sew along with in January. And that's all I have to show you. I really hope that you love afternoon tea. I would love to hear what you think of it. Shops, you can order afternoon tea now. Um, last call was at the beginning of May, but that doesn't mean that you can't get your order in. You can still order. Um, I've linked the storyboard in the video and you can contact your rep or you can go online at RileyBlakeDesigns.com and order it there if you are a shop. If you are not a shop owner, definitely ask your favorite quilt shop to carry it and they will be able to get it in for you. Thanks so much for having me, everyone. I had a great time hanging out with you today. I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you.